It has been a storm we've been talking about all week long. And this is what's left of Debbie. It's now a post-tropical system, and it's over land right near Watertown, New York, is the center of it. But even though we have been seeing this inland for several days now, the impacts are still really intense. We're talking about lots of flooding up through the northeast, even that red box, including parts of New York City. That is a tornado watch in effect. But we're also looking ahead to what could be the next tropical system. This is a cluster of thunderstorms out in the Atlantic. And although it does, we do not expect it to become a tropical system over the weekend, it has a 60% chance of development over the next seven days. As we head into the middle of next week, we could see that become our next tropical depression or named storm. And even though we've only had four named storms this season, we've got a very long way to go. And yesterday, NOAA updated their hurricane outlook for the 2024 hurricane season, still calling for an incredibly active season in the Atlantic. Now 17 to 24 total named storms. Previously, they had said 17 to 25. They're still on track for 8 to 13 hurricanes, 4 to 7 of those becoming major hurricanes. So why? Why are we seeing still a very active season, even though we've only seen four so far? It's got to do with two main factors. Number one, what's happening with the waters in the Atlantic. Atlantic Ocean in the Gulf of Mexico. Incredibly warm waters near record in some locations. Mid 80s for a lot of these surface buoys we pulled up here that can provide fuel for storms to form and intensify. And number two, a lack of wind shear expected. And for that, we look at the El Nino Southern Oscillation right there in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. What's happening with the temperatures of the ocean waters? When those waters turn cooler, we have a La Nina that develops, and that's what we're expecting for the peak of hurricanes season. With La Nina conditions, we see less wind shear, more storms that form, and more storms that can rapidly intensify. Now, luckily this weekend, we're not expecting tropical systems to impact us here in North